Howdy folks, welcome back to the south. Today we're only gonna be eating fast food restaurants for 24 hours. This is part three, let's get into it, come on. She's all waving in the background trying to get the video. She was? Yeah. Hey. hey. Yes man, we got we're you, coming, coming in, in right in. now. <laughs> The best way to finish a good workout in the morning is to fill yourself up with some good protein. So this is a chicken restaurant and they got beers. So you already know, this is why we here. Oh, oh wow. wow. You would not expect this place has a drive through That's literally what I was gonna say. This almost looks like a restaurant, but it has a drive through So clearly it's fast food. I wonder if you can get the beer to go. There's no way. There's in no Tennessee, way. you can drink. Let's ask this guy if he likes this place. Hey sir, have you had this place before? Yeah, it's is it good? Yeah. All right, that's all I need, I'm ready. Look at that, it says they crossed off beers as chicken and margaritas. I mean, they're getting wild here. They definitely got a little bit of everything. They got tenders, they got sandwiches, they got plates, they got wings, they got salads, they got desserts, they got sides, they got snacks. Literally, I would have thought snacks and sides were the same thing, but here, they're separate. Okay, I'm thinking we get a sandwich, we maybe get some wings. I mean, it's breakfast, but hey, chicken is protein. And these guns don't grow themselves, am I right, Jake? You right, boy, B. My boy doesn't eat enough chicken. That's why those little things <laughs> need some work. Did you just fart while you are doing that? I heard yeah, that. I, I smell it. I have to too. You're a sick bastard. Hey there, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm ready to spread my wings and fly today. Okay. You know, <laughs> chicken restaurant. Anyways, okay, I want to get the fried chicken, the OG. Okay. What's up? What side? Um, how's the mac and cheese? Really good? Okay, I'll do that. And then um, we want to get the Waldo's wings. We'll do six of those. Um, then we're gonna also want to get that foul mouth. Spicy. What What are you thinking, Jake? Habanero oil rocket sauce? Let's do it. I mean, my man likes it spicy, so how spicy is that? Very, very? Oh, uh, maybe not then. All right, just get the way it is. Yeah, let's get the way it is. I'll, we'll just take one bite of it, yeah. Um, and then we're gonna- that banana pudding. Oh yeah, we want to get that banana pudding too. And then can we get beers from you too? Okay, and then we'll get two beers. Right, what else? That's all. Number nine. Or number six. Or number six. And I'll bring all your Amazing. Thank you. Man, I like the tunes in here. Like, I'm ready to dig into some delicious, douchey chicken right now. Why is it douchey? I was, my mouth was watering. I meant to say juicy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is pretty cool. This place literally just opened at 11 o'clock and there's already a happy hour. I don't think I've ever been to a spot that has happy hour all day long. Two for one beers. How can you turn that down? You can't. You can't. You can't. There ain't no way. Number nine, guys, here we go. Uh, yes. Awesome buffalo wings. Oh, baby. All right, OG, foul mouth. We're gonna bring the banana pudding. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And can we get those beers too? Oh yeah, sorry. That's something I cannot take nicely. You know what I mean? I like to chug one beer before my meal. Anyways, that's like authentic banana pudding right there. Mm, mm, mm. This one I'm a little worried for Jake about. This one has the habanero oil on it. That thing is gonna make your mouth scream. And if it doesn't make your mouth scream, it's gonna make your little poo <laughs> scream after. Mm. Ooh, baby. First things first. Blue ribbon, what do you got? Blackjack, Blackstone, something, something like that. Mm, just a nice light beer to go with my morning. Oh. <laughs> Beers for breakfast, that's one way to do it. Listen up. This fast food restaurant started here in Tennessee, which is pretty cool. We're eating in an authentic, originated Tennessee restaurant here. So let's dig in, okay? First things first, let's start with the wings, my man. This mm. one looks a little puny. They're sauced up. They are, they're nice wings. Mm. Got a lot of sauce, excess sauce to rub your wings into. Let's try it. Mmm. It's perfectly made where like the skin is still like it's crispy. crispy, but it's not like overly fried. Yeah, this is a pretty good ring. Uh -huh. Let's both try to film that trick. I don't know. Let's do see that. if you can do it, Jake. I will say right off the bat, they're pretty small. Yeah, I mean, not like the smallest of wings. You can get but your elbow out of video, man. You gotta just shut your mouth, no, right? No, it's annoying. I don't wanna feel do your arms. Do me one solid. Hair on my arms. Oh. oh, so now you're hating on hairy people. Yeah. You guys hear that? Clip that. All right, here we go. I don't know how to do it. Just try your best. Let's see if you can do it, all right? Here goes nothing. Mm, hot. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good wings so far. And it all came out quick. And under, literally, it came under seven minutes. They have a drive through Exactly. They're making their food quick here. All right, we're off the bat. Got some slum, got some oil. It looks really good. It's not just it oil, doesn't... Jake. That's habanero oil. Mmm, that was fire. 
Oh, literally? Let's see. Give it a couple seconds to touch his taste buds and we'll see how he reacts. Okay. Okay. Scale right now, first bite. What is the scale at? Heightness. I got three. Okay. It's really good. Try it. Wait, I want to give it two, like a minute. Let me see. Oh, God. He may not be reactive to the habanero, but I'll tell you, I am. That's really good. Really? That's fire. Okay. Let me try it. You swear it's not hot? You swear it's a three? <laughs> God. Here is nothing, y'all. Please pray for me. Hit the like right now. Here we go. Mmm. Real good. Not hot at all. I was expecting that. That lady either didn't put it on there or she said, that's white lady hot. Some juicy chicken. Real juicy for it being fried chicken. Wow. They're doing something right so far. I got the classic. This is the OG. <coughs> oh, God. Wait. Maybe I was lying. <coughs> That's like a burn in the throat, not in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Maybe she wasn't lying. Has a kick, <clears throat> but we've had worse. We've definitely had worse. So here we go. Here's a classic original. This is what they started with. Mark Waldo is the... Wait. Oh, where is Waldo? <laughs> I was thinking it was the same guy. Anyways, Mark Waldo is the one who founded this place. This is what they started with. This place has only been open for two years. So let's see what they got so famous for. Why are you chewing? These fries are like whatever. Oh, shoestring, thin boys. Dark meat. Yeah, dark meat. Wow. That's juicy, delicious, mouth-watering goodness. It's better mm. than Chick-fil-A? Oh, 100 times. This is like what Chick-fil-A is trying to do, but this is gourmet. I want you to take a bite of this. I'll never have Chick-fil-A again after that. Try that right there. Oh, amazing. <laughs> oh, pickles, lettuce. Mayo. Chick-fil-A wishes. They wish. The only thing that would make this better is the Chick-fil-A sauce. If I had the Chick-fil-A sauce, and we could stop this on in. the way. <laughs> Next time we know. Mac and cheese time. This mac and cheese looks like something. It's not the classic macaroni. The little, uh, do you know what those ones are called, Jake? I'm gonna call them zigzaggers. I'm gonna call it, we're gonna call them twirly zigzers. Ooh, real watery mac and cheese. Not my cup of tea mm, for mac yeah. and cheese. I'm not down for that mac and cheese at all. That was their one fault so far. Yeah. Moving on to dessert in the morning. Banana pudding. Let's see what this is about. Oh baby, this is this is as good as it gets, I hope. Here we go. Oh, that's, that's insane. fire. I don't think I've ever had banana pudding this good. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's probably the best banana pudding I've ever had in my life. That's insane. That's insane. Okay, all I gotta say, let's rate. One to 10 breakfast spots, I'm giving it a solid 9.2. Yeah, 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 I was gonna say 9.1. Delicious. 9 1. So let's see what else we hold for today. Oh my God. I hope it can top this place, but I don't think anything can. So let's move on to lunch, come on. It's lunchtime and we're here at A&W. And last I checked, this was a root beer company. I didn't know they had a fast food restaurant, but let's go inside and let's check this place out. Let's do this. Apple After pie you. shake. It's a half and half. Half and half. Half KFC, half A and W. Well, this is I never know how I feel about those kind of places. Yeah. Look at this Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning. Oh, I'll we'll have to try that. So oh, look yeah, at this. KFC. This is how I knew this place from the root beer. But I thought they made it fresh here. That was a little gimmick. Oh, but this is like half a KFC. I don't know. Well, clearly KFC is the bigger restaurant. They have a bigger menu. This is what A&W got. Let's see. I'm going to say a double cheeseburger. Oh, damn. Look at them shake. Oh, they're floats. That's what they're known for is their floats. We got to get a root beer float. All right, we'll get one, one burger, one dog, and a shake. Yeah. So I'm all right. Hey, can we get the pop-up burger? And then we'll get... Oh, actually, yeah, we'll get a drink because we'll get this Mountain Dew thing back here. And then we want to get that Coney dog. Do you want onions on that? Sure. What else? And then we want to get a uh, root beer float. What size? Just a small one. Yes. But that's all. 2016. 2016, awesome. We got our food. Let's try this drink, though. What do you think it's going to taste like? I don't even see it on here. Peaches, oh, maybe? Oh, Ooh. Not what I was expecting, but. Mmm, it smells fruity. Mmm, it's like a peach tangerine. I think it's a tangerine. It's like orange soda, but with a little bit more sweetness. I kind of like it. So the moment of truth, this is the a and Root Beer Freeze. Like, this is what they're probably pretty famous for. Do I go in with a stir? Do I go in with a scoop? Like, Well, you got to think, it's root beer and ice cream, so you probably just go a scoop. Yeah, but you, it could be good when it's all melted no, together. That so. is together right there. Don't, don't, don't lick it again, because I want to try it. Okay? You want all that little sh** on there? I'd rather have that than your tongue. You see that, you guys? I don't it. know what's better in that situation. I see the leftovers rather than your tongue licking it. Mm. The root 
Cougar's a little much. It would have been better no, with Dr. No, that's, Pepper. Mix it together now. Let's try it. Okay, so it kind of tastes like a cream soda from just that little taste, but it was majority ice cream than it was anything else. We're going to try to mix it up, and we're going to get a real slurp. Wendell's. Here comes the food. Oh, yeah. It's like a cream soda with root beer. That ain't our food. That's KFC, oh. homeboy. Mmm. Oh, that's a knee slapper right there. Good lord. That's something I can get behind. <sighs> Pretty good. Try that, man. That's actually real good. Refreshing. Ooh. I don't know about that. You don't like it? It's like, imagine sun-kissed, but a little bit more sweet rather than like, not sugary sweet, but like just sweet like a fruit sweet. It's not bad. I you know Mountain Dew was invented out here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Straight up. I think it was in, what, Knoxville or something like that? over in East Tennessee. Something like that. Since this is a half and half store, we ended up getting a box that's for KFC, but... Oh, those look bomb. I can assure you this is A&W, as you can see right there. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a chili cheese hot dog. No cheese, just chili. Chili, we're chili lactose dog. lactose intolerant. Let's see this last one, baby. There it is, A&W. Looks like a solid little grub a dub dub. Yeah, I can't complain about that. Something's telling me that's gonna be juicy. First things we're gonna start with are these fries here. They look good. I don't like that they came out in a KFC box because we drove 45 minutes for an A and W. But regardless, they look damn nothing. good. They're gonna be hot. Mm, damn good. Mm, nice little crispiness to the fries, so it's got that crunch. You gotta eat it quick because oh it's gonna get God. soggy with the chili and the cheese. Damn good. Oh man, that's gonna look, you know, chilly, what it's gonna do to our ass later? It's gonna chill. It's gonna look the same way as, as it come in, as it come out. Goes in chilly, comes out chilly. I don't know, something about this makes you wanna be all zesty. Mmm, be zesty. Uh, so good. Is that not zesty? Uh, it's trying to act like Fousey tube. Moving on. So this burger right here, this is the Big Papa burger or something like that. It's got lettuce, tomato, thousand, uh, thousand Island sauce, pickles, pickles, cheese, and then a double patty. So let's try this. Looks like the face of disappointment. I was just expecting a little more juiciness to that burger. And I feel like I only taste the cheese and the tomato. It's not bad, but I feel not like it's very a, good. not a seasoned patty. Like, Mm -hmm. No wonder why these guys are more famous for the root beer. The restaurant ain't very good. That's a disappointment, especially after breakfast. That's not good at all. Oh. Chili cheese fries, we're good though. Let's hope this is better. Can't be anything special because it's really just a dog. The chili is what's gonna make it work. Take a bite quick, it's all falling out. Oh man, pass that on. Worthwhile? The chili, is just, it's only the chili. That's what makes it. Mmm, that chili is damn good. <laughs> That's like a soaked hot dog. What do they mm. call it, like a New York style hot dog? Sloppy toppy. It's a sloppy gel. Mm. We'll say right off the bat, their chili is the only thing that mm -hmm. I come back for. That dog was being cooked in water. Mm -hmm. It's a boiled dog. Their chili cheese fries, hit. If you have to eat Fire. one thing here, it's that. But that would Fire. explain, the guy that was eating in here before we came in here, he was in KFC. And everyone that's going to the drive-thru from what it looks like back there, all KFC. So I wonder if anyone even eats at A&W. Probably not. Maybe not. We'll let you know in the morning if we have the, the poopies. How are we going to let them know in the morning? Yeah. Follow me on Instagram. I'll post it on my story. I'm gonna stop, cause actually we're just, to die, boy. We're just eating to eat at this point. Yeah, I'm hungry. Get your elbow out of my face. Go back to the zesty guy and enjoy this elbow. Mm, this is biceps, okay. 28, change, 28 change. centimeter pythons. Change back. Get out of my way. All right, I don't want the zesty. Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> like your hairy arms on my arm. <laughs> Lunch, eh. Breakfast, good. We'll see you guys at dinner time. Ruby right? float, pretty good. Yeah, this random Mountain Dew, mm, pretty good. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Let's go. Alrighty, y'all, it's dinner time. And what we got behind us is checkers. I'm gonna be honest, it looks a little rinky dink to me, so pray for us. Let's get some dinner, come on. 10 for 10 cheeseburgers. What the heck? Sounds like a deal to me. Damn, man. Looks like today is a burger day. I mean, they got only burgers. Alrighty. I say we get them chicken tenders, a burger, maybe some mozzarella sticks. I don't know, man. Jake, what are you feeling like? That baconzilla. Okay, it looks meaty and delicious. Or they have a fr french fry burger. Wow, yeah, no, that's weird. I think I'm gonna go with that smoky barbecue bacon before. Before, before what? I don't know, before you eat this, you're gonna yourself. I, get, I guarantee. I hope this ain't a drive-through only place. He looked at me like I was a fool for standing here. Hey there, how are you? Can we get the baconzilla and the smoky barbecue bacon before? And uh, Boo Ford? I don't know. This is, I guess it's Boo Ford. <laughs> Boo Ford. I don't know. What the hell's a Boo Ford? I feel like a Boo. Ordering this. 
Yeah. We don't need those chicken tenders, right? No, let's just get this one. Let's just get these birds. Right? I'm already feeling like from eating all this crap today, you guys. So I think I need to sit on the toilet for the rest of the night. After we could this. try these uh, funnel cake fries. Oh, okay. That sound good. You can see the making it if you come on this one. You can see how this is all made back there. Check this out. This is what this place looks like. It's mess. Absolute trash hole. God. Yeah, we can get severely sick for this, but we're doing it for you guys. So please hit the like, hit the subscribe, pick up some merch, BrandonTaylor.com, because damn it, we need something to pay for our medical bills. We do not have health insurance. 1909. There you go. 1909. It's like when my brother was born. Good old days. Good old days. Dinosaurs on the land. <laughs> Flintstones were still Flintstoning. <laughs> Einstein had no electricity. <laughs> the telephone, you still had to. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. That took way longer than expected. The food has been done. They're waiting for the funnel cakes. She thought we were getting hot dogs at first. I was like, wait a second. Anyways, let's check this out. Oh my God, feel this thing. It's cold. This one's a little warm. Hopefully that one's mine. All right, first burger. Oh my God, look at the cheese. It ain't even melted. Oh my God. That, that is disp- Ugh, the hell is all that? I don't know, but look at that. It looks disgusting. That looks disgusting. Right, anyways, let's see what the other one is. Oily as hell. Oh my God, what, I don't know, man. Let's just try them. All right, you guys, so we don't really know what to expect here. It don't look half good at all. I don't really want to eat all the sauce. Yeah, it looks kind of disgusting, if we're mine's being honest. cold. Mine has one patty that's cold and the other patty that's cold. So yeah, mine's also cold. I think the bun is warmer than the burger. Uh, she's gonna be calling out to us for our fries at any moment. So let's go ahead and let's try these things. Here goes nothing. The bacon's warm. The burger is dry as a That is the nastiest thing I've ever tried in my entire life. I am not even messing around. Mine was cold. It had so many different sauces in it. Mayo, ketchup, I think, barbecue sauce, mustard. It just made no sense. I ordered a Baconator burger. My hands have so much oil on it right now, and I think it's just from the wrapper alone. The burger had no seasoning to it. Didn't have any flavor, and it was cold. Let's just hope those funnel fries are a little bit better. I mean, dinner, we're just gonna have to be hungry tonight. Yeah. It looks like they're making them fresh. They she are. made us a hot dog. Yeah, they're making the fries fresh, so let's hope that's a little bit better than this burger, because no me like it. No, no me no, like no, it at no, all. No, no, no. Ugh, look at this. Right where it belongs. That's $20 I'll never get back. A few inches later. Are they hot? They're hot, they're ready. This they're small. is our funnel fry. Looks like just regular fries with sugar on it, but let's try them. Oh no, they're actually hollowed out. Oh no, they're regular fries. I don't think so. Mine has like potato in it. I'm gonna try one of these sugary ones. They don't have enough sugar on them. Let's try a sugary one. It's a funnel cake, or a funnel fry. So it's just a lot soppier. It's made with no love. This place has no love. This was $20, and I think the best part of this was the sugar on top. I'm not a fan of this whatsoever. I'm really Wait, is she coming? Is she coming? No, she's listening. Look, I'm not even gonna take another bite. She's right here, she's listening to us now. This place sucks. Jake, we're going home hungry. Let's go, I'm out of here. So there you have it, folks. We ate fast food for 24 hours again here in the South, and let me tell you, Part one and part two had better options. I'm not feeling too good. I definitely am gonna go home and poop this all out. So please pray for me. That's all she wrote. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. If I live. Cause this place, mm. I'm so exhausted.